Those, those, those ah, were the hello. quietest. I heard none of those cracks. Oh, Good evening, <laughs> the vampires, werewolves, <laughs> and all other nocturnal beings. Welcome to Titties by Night, a Vampire the Masquerade actual play run entirely by creatures of marginalized genders and presented by tabletop titties. My name is Kelly. My pronouns are they, them, and I am a bat. <laughs> I'm a bat. You can't really see too well. There's my bat you. arms. Uh, and this bat will be your storyteller for tonight. But before we begin the episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of Canada and the U.S. and how these countries have and continue to take from Indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and I, uh, am, rec I am recording from the stolen land of the Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil First Nations. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and support some Indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources. With me, I am joined by most of the IOU. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Charlene Bear. I go by Char. My pronouns are she, they, and I play Octavia Miller, the Tremere, whose pronouns are she, her. And I'm a spider thing. Wow. <laughs> Got cool makeup. Spider thing. Ah. Spider thing. Spider thing. <laughs> oh, and I'm um, distinct. on um, <laughs> the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations, the Coast Salish people. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Rachel Thielade. My pronouns are she, her, and I am coming to you from the territories of the Semiamu, Keitsi, Coquitlam, Kwantlen, Kakate, and uh, Tawasin First Nations. And I am here playing Evelyn Stormloff, the Nosferatu, whose pronouns are also she, her, and I'm the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. If you know oh, the game, no. then you know. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Sora, or whatever. <laughs> Garsh. Garsh. <laughs> Hello, hello. You up? Sorry. Oh, no, just... very cool. That was worth it. That was worth it. <laughs> I was like right in the middle of your hello. My bad. Hello, my name is Katrina. You can call me Cat. I use any pronouns, and I'm currently streaming from the lands of the Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Coast Salish First Nations people. And uh, tonight, I am playing Abigail Semmes, baby. Uh, back at it again. Our fast moving, wise cracking uh, Ravdos. He's going to get ya. We're going to get ya. <laughs> or maybe we won't, honestly. Who knows anymore? <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm glad to be here with you all today. I'm <laughs> just going to bring a very serious energy to the table. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dare. Pronounce she, they, Faye. Uh, joining you once always and forever as Leon Cavallo, the he, they, bay, the Toriador, you all adore, who leave you wanting and needing more, who may or may not be ducking child support payments. Don't worry about that last <laughs> part. Totally fine. I am also coming to you uh, live from the uh, Ute, Cheyenne, and Life in Apache First Nations. And I am, I'm a goon today. You know, I'm, nice. I'm here to hunt the Batman or the Spider-Man, some <laughs> generic city-based villain. Uh, I'm just a goon. <laughs> The sticker is killing me. It's killing yeah, me. It's, it's very so good. good. You know, I uh, only have coordinated. crayon stickers. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> oh, it's Cat me baby. because Casper's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but Cat, what are you dressed as? I dressed as a widow clown, but but I'm not sad because I can't draw sad eyebrows. I was gonna try, but I can't. But. <laughs> You've got, the, you're you've got the beautiful. You've got the I murdered someone tattoos underneath yeah, your for eyes. Sure. Yeah, the oh, double sided. Oh, yeah. sheesh. <laughs> oh, sheesh. That's a little too much. That's a little too dark. <laughs> um, it is our Halloween episode. There may be some music involved. That means that we use Sirenscape to help make our stream more atmospheric. It is free to use. They also have a premium version that lets you do even extra cool stuff uh but check them out at sirenscape.com and also if you're watching us live on twitch i just want to remind you like dare like casper you too can use your amazon prime sub to take money out of jeff bezos pocket and give it to support some titties mm -hmm. we would really appreciate it it means a lot to us and then you get to have really cool emotes and other goodies and be part of the titty committee so consider it please 
possible triggers for this episode vampire stuff and probably bees most likely bees almost always bees usually bees usually bees um always be always be being and uh <laughs> without further ado uh <laughs> intro video pew 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 <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Titties by Night, the IOU found themselves drifting through the labyrinth of Sidney Jones's mind. The Malkavian former prim Primogen uh, attempted to trick the Coterie into believing they had defeated him and escaped the asylum, uh, finding themselves vacationing on a beach. As the investigators frolicked in the ocean, drank with a bartender who strangely resembled Jerry's inner demon Bartholomew, and explored the far reaches of the sandy beach, they soon realized that their reality was not what it seemed. Discovering their true fate, they, uh, that they were still trapped inside the Malkavian network, they attempted to grill Bartholomew, but it seemed he was further gone than they were. Octavia became aware of the unmistakable scent of Margaret, and with the help of uh, Prophet, began chasing the trail. This sparked a vengeful re reaction from Sidney, who began warping reality around the investigators and Jerry's demon. They found themselves in a medieval village being attacked by a great cyan dragon inside of a grotesque bloody cave overrun with pale creatures in the cargo bay of a large steel vehicle on a crystalline planet and finally within the cafeteria of a strange arena-like competition. It was here that they finally spotted their target, a woman closely resembling Marguerite, uh, announcing that the trials were soon to begin. After a confrontation with more Jerry's, the group finally confronted <laughs> the woman who claimed her name was Marge. Finally, however, it seemed that the woman was a conduit of Marguerite, uh, who told the group that she was attempting to pull them out, but some someone was making it impossible. Suddenly, the trials began, and the group realized that Bartholomew was the cause of the interference. Without he hesitation, the coterie fell upon the demon, whose blood was so hot it caused all of them to run in fear, save for Prophet in his shadow form. Through a tempest of shadow and flame, the investigators were finally able to strike a killing blow on the demon, giving Marguerite uh, the window she needed to pull them free. We left with the image of the IOU being dragged out of a large pool in, in the asylum, the unconscious body of Leon, and the now weak and withered form of Dr Jerry drained of all of his strength. The venture back to the IOU is arduous as uh, Jerry barely is able to uh, motive move his new form forward uh, and one of you has to carry Leon's unconscious body. All of you feel emotionally uh, and mentally drained, um, but Marguerite manages to lead you to the uh, large carriage that you arrived in, uh, shoving all of you in the back and taking the reins for herself. Um, you eventually make it to back to your offices uh, where all of you are led within uh, the large, um, now empty uh, office foyer, uh, where you collapse on the floor. Um, and you now find yourselves there. Marguerite's sort of like huffing and puffing, having pulled all of you back into uh, your office. Um, Leon's still Thank unconscious. Thank you so much, Marguerite. <sighs> we clearly couldn't have done it without you. Well, uh, after you didn't show up for a few days, I figured I would try to track you down. Um, would you mind telling me what happened? 
Well, we were attempting to assist a friend who unfortunately is no longer with us due to Sidney Jones, who trapped us in the Malkavian network. I, I know maybe a couple of the words that you just said. Um, what happened to big guy? Jerry? Uh, you see now that uh, Jerry has made it into the office. Uh, he too has collapsed. Um, and you get the sense that uh, his weakened strength has also left his ability to stay out of torpor. Um, no, Jerry! Hardened uh, and has collapsed. Uh, next to Leon. Uh, what happened to both of them? Where's Imogen when you need her? Uh, he was uh, punching a fish and then uh, the fish and some other stuff and the lights and then ah what did there was this demon there? as well a, there was a whole was... thing with a demon and i'm we never got a straight answer out of it or jerry i don't believe jerry never told us what was going on um I recall right because i remember they've talked to the people involved like like dare knows about like, Leon, like, like Leon knows. A... Leon knows some stuff <laughs> because they're in, in, they're having some good times with some some, some demon lady over there. Uh, but uh, I don't know if I don't know if we. I, I last episode Jerry didn't tell us shit because they were too busy punching a fish. Yeah, so the extent we were like, who's that this, who's this demon man? <laughs> the extent that any of you had was um, Octavia delving into um Anne's soul and finding yeah. it basically hell um but i don't know if any of you have like connected the dots there with jerry no 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 yeah so i'm just like there's there was this demon that was that was the person keeping you from pulling us out was a demon yeah so well we, that would we, explain it yeah i i i, I don't None of this makes any sense. Speaking of which, uh, I'm going to see if I can set, like, I don't know if this will help, but I'm still a little suspicious. I want to see if we're actually pulled out or not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't even think that. <laughs> uh, can I, it would sense the beast be something that I could use to maybe sense if Sidney Jones's presence is still around us in any way, shape or form? Um, you can certainly try. Cool. I don't uh, remember go, if this is around. Go ahead and give me, uh, it's free. Give me a resolve and animalism. Okay. How many resolve do I have? Oh, I have three. Cool. That's five. Um, you. Hmm. You don't sense any sort of like overarching beast presence. Um, you sense your individual beasts, except for Jerry. Uh, and you sense Marguerite's supernatural pre presence that remains a mystery that you, none of you have been able to penetrate. <laughs> um, yes. But you don't uh, sense the presence of Sydney anymore. Okay. Cool. I don't sigh because I don't breathe, but you see me relax a little bit instead of breathing a <laughs> sigh of relief. You can see me let my guard slightly down. I'm like, all right. Seems as though his hold on us is truly gone for the moment. Um, I'm still very confused as to how this all happened. I'm not one who has dealt with the Malkavian network before this, so. Uh, again, I don't know what those particular words in order mean. Um, all I knew is I that, uh, when you didn't show up, I checked the only few places that I knew you might be, um, including the strange restaurant that you all frequent, um, learned that some kid apparently hired you to go somewhere uh, and it took a while for me to actually find you. Um, that place was a uh, challenge to navigate. Um, it seems that uh, uh, whatever had a hold on you was 
very much attempting to make it impossible for people to find you. Um, but Quite you seem fine now. Um, Abigail, now that you are out of the sort of delusional mindscape, mm -hmm. uh, your, your beast now recognizes that you have been sedentary for a long time. Uh, and you sort of feel that like burning inside of you start to well up. Not enough that it starts to hurt, but you, re you really now become mm -hmm. aware that you've been in, in one place for too long. Right, right. And I think like almost this feeling of, of, yeah, like unbridled energy as it comes up makes me word vomit. And I kind of just go, um, um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. Um, I should probably go. And then I'll just start to like take a couple of steps backwards. Are you all right? Did no, uh, yeah, I'm I'm fine. Um, uh, thank you for doing your thing. And you would, were you, were you there? Was that you? Does anybody else know? Was that, were you with us in that? Was that you? She just like shakes her head and like looks to the others. It felt like you, but I what don't you... think it was. Marguerite, you got something? What, what you got going on? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I was there for but a moment. Um, I showed up, saw you in the pool, tried to pull you out, but, uh, there was something mm. stopping you. What happened to Fancy Pants? That is another mystery. Yeah. We were dealing with something in there. I don't know if any of it was real or not, but I think whatever happened there messed with Leon's he was they they he was two people like there were multiple faces and I look around at him like I'm not losing it am I like you remember the same thing mm. phasing yeah. in and out of consciousness yeah. and all of that or yeah actually were we there for that or was that just uh, me? yeah it was okay. a just but, like mm -hmm. when when you guys got on the beach it was yeah, just yeah, a yeah. constant thing that was happening. That. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and Sydney was trying to convince you that it wasn't strange. Um, yes. She's going to walk gonna over to Leon and sort of like hike up her dress a bit as she kneels down uh, next to their body. Um, Leon, since being pulled from the pool, uh, you have essentially gone into your day sleep. Um, you aren't dreaming, uh, but you're sort of just in a unconscious black void. Um, but you hear a voice, uh, sort of echoing out in the shadows. Hey, you in there? Can I, can I speak? Uh, you can attempt to. Okay, beautiful. I was afraid that was going to be your exact answer. <laughs> Hello? Uh, as you speak, you realize that your mouth isn't moving, and it's sort of that like dream-like echoing out of your consciousness. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Marguerite. Uh, you know, you're, uh, uh, you're kind of not awake right now. Can you kind of, can you wake up? Are you good? I mean... I'm not rest would be nice after everything I just went through. Got a lot to process in here, but I suppose if I need to wake up, I can. How how important is it that I wake up right now? I mean, the big one's out too. So if you're just trying to uh, blend in with the crowd, you're doing a good job. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Jerry's out. That's normally not for good reasons. So. Maybe I should wake up and keep an eye on him. Oh, all right. Sounds good. Um, go ahead and you don't have any willpower right now. Nope. Roll me a rouse. Oh, ooh, made it. 
Nice. You... You sense the presence of your sire by means of the beast within this sort of shadow space. Um, and normally when you're out of willpower, it's, the beast sort of like takes over um, or you just pass out. Um, but you manage to, through that rouse, step away from the control of your sire. Um, Oh, I'm hearing echoes now. I'm hearing myself. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't um, hear them. Do you, oh, anyone else? It's your mic. Like a, it's your like mic doing that uh, oh, volume boy. up thing. Okay, I will adjust. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, you kind of escape the the lure of your beast, um, and through f- pure force of will. Um, your eyes open with your face just like lying up against uh, the plush carpet of the uh, interior of the IOU. I'd hate to complain, but I ha- we have a fainting couch for a reason. And I think I just like pick myself up and immediately just <laughs> touch my face to see if I'm still having that whole situation going. Uh, you're fine. For like almost like that moment when like a dream lingers for a bit when you wake up, you still kind of feel that presence. But uh, as you like pat your face, uh, you realize that uh, you are fine. Your clothes are completely like drenched and matted to your body now, um, and all semblance of of order uh, of your presentation has just been washed away. <laughs> uh, well, um. All right, I suppose I'm not dead. How, what, what have I missed? Our greed saved us. And yeah. unfortunately, Jerry is unconscious in torpor. And very thin. Yeah. No idea what happened there. All right. Uh, or I'll just like Whoa. not a not a thing. I don't. I believe Liam was already out by that happened. I like went away from everyone else and missed the everything of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I've kept the Do place. Do you know anything, Marguerite? You're the most angelic presence I know. <laughs> Perhaps you have some information on creatures that are your opposite. First off, Imogen's not here. We don't have to pretend that I'm an angel anymore. Uh, <laughs> second off, there's a, there ain't nothing here anymore. I got no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, I didn't even know Jerry had a demon. I didn't. Is this a new development? Are vampires just making deals with devils now? Not usually. Well, I mean, are there really any devils? involved uh i mean whatever whatever the kind the kind have been calling it but um i don't know someone else does does someone else have information about this i think by now abigail is probably like already back against the door and like fiddling with the handle (laughs) and that's probably when you hear a little click 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 click, as they're not so nimbly searching for the handle (laughs) I think if nobody need, is stopping it, ha- I'll, I'll hear the click. I'm like, do you need help finding something? I, you seem stressed. No, I just, um, you know, it's been a long day and uh, I could probably use some sleep. And, uh, you know, I, you guys are probably tired. No, maybe. Hey, please let us debrief. This was quite the experience. <clears throat> right. Um, well, we are good now, and um, mm, it's anybody, the thing. it's the thing, isn't it? It's the Ravnos you... thing. I'm, I, as I, someone with Ravnos powers, I'm kind of like, <laughs> mm, I'm putting, I'm putting things together here. I understand. Mm. If you wish to move, 
ah i forgot understand. forgot that it was not just like a, a weakness thing it's just like a little it's, cutesy quirk yeah. right everyone <laughs> has their own things <clears throat> going on okay and i think abigail will like take a a not a not breath and um <laughs> kind of relax into it a little bit being understood so uh we will assist you in finding well a comfortable suitable situation if you would like i mean yeah after. i mean i i got a boat so yes i can just move you the do. boat and that should be fine unless i don't know anything's changed who knows anymore but what i will say is maybe uh, next time we do any of those crazy things in one of those milky, milky waters or whatever the hell we were in, um, we don't split up. Anybody else notice that was kind of like the one thing that uh, that really uh, messed around with us? I would have to agree. I would also yes. like to say I would never like to go back into that type of situation ever again. No, no, no for but sure, I for will sure, agree. for sure, for sure. Maybe uh, maybe we all just uh, do one of those things where we tie a little string on each other and then we're like, hey, and you give a little tug when somebody's falling too far behind, you know? Like, you didn't ever do that in and when they're in school? And yeah, it's like a kid leash or something. Um, no, never mind. Very old, <laughs> I cannot remember school. Right, right. Oh, <laughs> well, of course, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did that resolve, by the way? The leashes and the kids? Well, no, most kids no, just no, 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 no. Oh, the, sorry, the Malcavi yeah. The Malkavian Network thing. <laughs> Well, we were gifted asylum thanks to Marguerite here, but unfortunately Ambrose is dead. Completely dead. Oh right. due to Sydney. Didn't what did I don't really understand what happened. He ate her? So essentially, from what I gathered from I didn't witness it firsthand, I wasn't watching, but from what I gather, she tried to consume Sydney, and he being much older, it kind of backfired, and he in turn consumed her and took right. over. Not that I have any experience with this at all, but it's... He it's needed a body and he found one. He found exactly and... what he needed and tricked her into doing whoa, whoa, exactly whoa. what he needed. Can I Did be that... honest? Oh, yeah. Never oh, liked him. Never ah. was never. Oh, he's awful. Thank you. That's what <laughs> we were saying. I was. What? The, then why so, did we help him? Because, yeah, like, because I'd like to know that too. We weren't helping Sydney. Oh right. Yeah. Of course. I forgot. And then and then he ate a really cool. Yeah. Wins he's... all around. Um. Well, what does that? Did that mean that if we see Ambrose is going to be Sydney? Yes. Leave yes. so. There's a small piece bot, of her might be in there. There's a powerful old child wandering around the streets now. And she was already pretty uh, to begin with, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Very at least true. physically not as intimidating. True. How many you know, vampires true. do you think it would take to take him down? Should we try and list, Depends list the entire which... city to ruin this man i'm not sure what to do i mean about that this. or if we just get jerry enough liquor honestly i mean i think he's going to need a little bit more than liquor but judging by the looks of him we could get jerry to ask dracula oh uh... was just in town <laughs> dracula did take a liking to him he probably would help Although we did ask him to basically never come back. Yeah, we'll yeah we can write him a letter. We'll we know where he is. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he's probably still traveling. Like, he's probably still on the boat, got his, like, coffin full of dirt, hasn't made it home yet. <laughs> never come back here. Get home. <laughs> come back here. Six, <laughs> 20 un okay, unread messages. <laughs> um, well, yeah, you guys are the mayors, aren't you? Can't you just, like, put out a smear campaign or something against this guy? I well, think it's going to need Evelyn a little more can. than a smear campaign. It'd be a lot more politicking than that. I wasn't even thinking of politicking. I just want to kill him. <clears throat> ah, literal smear campaign like that. I like that. Now you're speaking like Jerry. Oh, yeah. Should we should we poke Jerry or should we let him rest? <laughs> we'll let him rest for at least a little bit. All right. Did we bring him to the fainting couch? Is he on it now? 
I mean, no one's moved him. He was kind of just like face down on the floor. Oh, like, I, think lighter. I, I do just look at how thin Jay is, and I'm like, this is. Hmm. It's not right. It's unnatural. Yeah. I'll, I'll maybe check in with Anne and see if she knows anything about correlation between. I, I know those two have been talking more about. Yes. Things. I don't know. Perhaps she knows about. Oh, this is probably what you were just saying. The demon stuff. Yeah. Demon stuff sounds so derogatory, but I will <laughs> check in. I'm um, just the nature of uh, the nature. How about of infernal? Uh, that uh, sounds better. Thank situation you. of a fiery variety. I don't know. Mm. That also sounds better and a little scandalous. I enjoy <laughs> that one. Mm. Sulfuric. Uh, Once yeah, again, stinky. everything better except for demonic. I mean, All I don't like putting labels on hunted. things. So. Me either. Speaking what? of labels, what is your label, Marguerite? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, <laughs> that's what we all want to know. Come on, Lady Spill. It's okay, Imogen's not here. You can just tell us. I did hear uh, you in my head when I woke up. Like, uh, just directly. Mm, that's how you hear people, mostly, is the sound you reverberating into your head. You know what I mean. I was deeply unconscious. <laughs> Listen, if we've made it this far without you actually discovering what I am, I feel like the mystery itself is more intriguing. Hey, what? Oh, it's sassy. Um, the moment <laughs> I one feel of like you we should get decipher. a couple of guesses. Hints? Oh, can we get some hints? All right. Well, you weren't here for it, but my soul was in a doll for a little bit. Uh, um, I barely heard about this one. I was just yeah, around. You weren't, you weren't present for that, were you, Leon? Mostly not. Uh, it was and, mentioned a lot, but I was mostly having a good time. And I uh, I told Jerry I could probably take him, but now <laughs> I don't think he'll take me up on that offer. Uh, and Whoa. I was uh, staying with a werewolf for about a year while I was laying low. Um, and Imogen thought I was an angel, but that might have just been my sunny personality. Oh. The well, werewolves are also a potential avenue for us to deal with Sydney. I mean, you had one contact, and he's not looking so good now. They don't like me. Listen, but we you need don't to fig- have many. You're good at shooting down ideas, Marguerite. Perhaps you have one. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, and she goes over, and she kind of like locks the door that's behind you, Abigail. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we all accept oh, we're like, oh, oh, I see how it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before you go back out there and try to fight some guy that can apparently trap you in a web or a network or something, maybe think about if he really is a threat or if you're just going up there for revenge. Because oh. the way that you make it sound, he seems pretty powerful and old. And the last one that you fought that was powerful and old didn't go so well. I seem to recall him making uh, fools of you, killing your prince, and uh, leaving a few of you um, befuddled by his ability to uh, trick you. So is it really worth it to go up and fight another old one or leave him in his little asylum in his creepy child body? (laughs) But that's the thing. He's not stuck in the asylum anymore. Who knows what he'll do? We could put a general warning. Just if you see this, if you see this shape and form of a child, maybe just know that it's Sydney, and also probably don't take him up on anything he's offering. We could investigate and see if he is planning to do anything nefarious. So I mean, new body, you know, gets to live a bit longer. Marguerite, you do raise a good point that I'm very happy with my own life and I do wish to keep it. So taking a step back is wise. Uh, this is the first time I'm here and you guys got GIS kicks before? What was that all about? Well, that was Dracula. Who's oh. It all worked out fine. He's I basically an ally now. <laughs> oh, oh, the ally that you told to go away and never come back? Oh, yes. Well. 
that's cool that's cool he has an interesting way of caring for others (laughs) yeah yeah. strange love language um maybe and this is just me again a mysterious your mysterious benefactor or that's not the right word your mysterious receptionist but (laughs) perhaps laying low and as you said, sending out a warning and seeing if he does anything mm. before going back up there in your current states. Oh, I'm in your... no state to fight this man now. Absolutely. And I don't think we can do it alone if we, if anything turns up and he is planning something horrible, I don't think we can deal with him on our own. We will need to reach out to others. Mm. I also need time to research how to help Jerry. Yes. Right. I think getting to back to normal is important right now. Well, right. We'll look our wounds for a little bit and then we'll figure out what to do next. Yeah. And I'm sure any long lasting effects of spending a few days in a pool in a child's mind. Should probably How keep long an eye. Were we gone? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell. I don't know when you left, but uh, it's best bet around five days or so. Are we really hungry? Uh, it doesn't seem so. <clears throat> what about the giant fish? Are we so worried about that? I Did we like look- that was just him messing with us. Wasn't it? But there is the giant monster that we don't know anything about that's, I don't want to say Cthulhu, but (laughs) we've been having that in the background for quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not going to forget about my uh, welcoming party coming here. Um, But um, I can be worried about multiple things at once. It's fine. (laughs) And if, you know, we need to talk to any of the primitives, I (laughs) Can talk to Shalom or anything like that. Just throwing it out there, just to warn people about the Sydney situation. Mm. I think reaching out after we feel a little bit more like venturing out into the mm-hmm. world would be a good idea. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll I'll go I'll go see my uh uh well not my it's just you know I'll go to the feeding pit maybe and I'll go um just spread yeah. the word. No other ulterior motives at the feeding pit. <laughs> no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm not one to tell you what to do. Well, I mean, if you want to be my wingman, come on down. Might take you up on that. <laughs> Octavia senses Evelyn's unease in the room. Uh, and I'm going to activate a power. I'm going to activate uh, Sense the Unseen because I still feel these whispers all around us. And I'm just not certain that we are free. Marguerite's <laughs> also shooting down every idea I have and saying, don't fight, uh, Sydney. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. That's <clears throat> Uh, give me a resolve and aspects then. This party has trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. Who could yeah. have done this to us? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. One, two. All right, sorry. Please, please hold. I'm almost there. Too many dice. <laughs> That's a good thing. The distrust is on maximum now. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to use a willpower. Yeah, you have those? I have three, but that's that's (laughs) not many. (laughs) Okay. (sighs) Yeah. One, two, three, four. Every single willpower dice I rolled, got it. Yay. Seven successes. Nice. You... You don't believe that you are still in the network. Uh, the whispers that you are hearing are the spirits of the IOU being... Oh, they're so loud. Being like... Hmm, uncontrolled for the moment. Your uh, your lack of presence over the last few days has, has caused disharmony uh, with the spirits oh. of the IOU. Oh. Okay. 
Well, that's going to be one of my concerns if, as we're waiting here as well. I'll say, if we do need to gather ourselves and form a plan, I would like to spend a bit more time with the spirits who do seem to be at a bit of unease at the moment. Cool. All right. I think it's time for me to reach out uh, to some of my contacts. See if we can't get the ball rolling on the investigative side of things uh, while we rest. I'll check in with my girlfriend and see if she knows anything about the Jerry at all. <laughs> and our new friend's going to go move her Marge barge. Hey, yeah, that's right. Wait. Was that, was that named after you? <laughs> no. You, my name's Marguerite. But... <laughs> well... Yeah, but that could be like your nickname. No. Oh, she hates it? that. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh no, I, I'm sorry. It's I, not I, a nicknamer. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're new. Early. You didn't know. It's I didn't okay. know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> y'all have a good night then. I did my job. I'm going to go back to my... I'll be seeing you. Uh, and she uh, unlocks the door and uh, proceeds out into the night. Um, is there anything that any of you would want to do, uh, before resting, uh, for presumably the rest of the evening and day? I um, do. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You first. Oh, I was just gonna. I assume say, everyone. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna head to the sewers quickly just to see if I can touch base with my 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 guys and fill them in on everything that happened, and then tell them to go. Put their ears to the ground in a way just to make sure that nothing weird is happening with Sydney now that he's essentially just let loose and he's hopefully just chilling and being a weirdo. <laughs> All right. And I'll go through the list and see what everybody wants to do. So you want to go down, uh, meet up with your, your gang and see what's up. Um, Abigail? I'm going to move my boat. I can see if it's still there, too, because, like, who? <laughs> in five days. Am I, am I paying rent there? Like, yeah. I don't even know. They're like, let's see if I've got an agreement. The dock police. They're like, in oh, the water this, impound this parking lot. ticket. No, this I'm, assuming, I'm assuming Baco just, you know, is still looking out for me. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so I'm going to go check on that. <laughs> uh, Octavia? I would like to go. I'm not going to go to the Chantry, but I am going to go to the library in the IOU and see if I can find any information about uh, infernal beings and, you know, any references to uh, our kind losing their powers. Uh, and uh, Leon? Uh, tonight, sleep. Is there, is there a letter sending service? Uh, there is the mail, yeah. Okay. Um, I I don't know if they're like we had our own vampire mail. You can just ask me to send a raven. Yeah, That's true. sure. Uh, if you could yeah. send Anne a raven telling her I'm back in town, and uh, I feel like dog shit, and I'm gonna sleep tonight, but I want to see her tomorrow. I'm like, hey, you up? But not tonight. Tomorrow? Are you gonna be up tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Like tonight, yeah. I'm dying. I'm going to sleep forever. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, I will start with uh, Leon then. Um, as you tell uh, Evelyn to do this before she leaves, um, feeling completely drained, uh, you head off into the um, dungeons of the IOU uh, towards your room. Um, it looks still well-maintained down here, all things considered. Your decoration... Uh, has been your decorations have been cleaned while you've been gone and nothing is looking too dusty. Um, and you get to your door uh, and it opens and on your bed uh, is lying a thin, withered looking Anne, sort of curled <gasps> up in the fetal position. Oh shit! No I didn't think this would affect way. me. Oh, oh my shit. god! God damn it! Oh no! 
I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. I was just hoping. I just assumed yeah. this was Jerry like the deal was struck his own with, actions. With, with Jerry, and that deal was not struck with, but then we literally killed him. We killed him. We, he's dead. Uh, she doesn't seem to react to you entering the room, but you can see her, again, sort of like curled up on your bed, just facing away from the door. Um, I'm home. What happened out there? I don't know a lot, honestly. I uh, was having my own sort of issues in the network, but all I heard was Jerry is also looking quite similar. Is there anything you need right now? I, I don't know. I can't. I can't hear anyone. Um, I, I was just, I was out looking for y'all and, uh, I don't know, something happened tonight and I just, I, I just got weak. I don't I think I like to take her hand. Uh, she's like looking at Jerry, you could still see a bit of like the, um, human underlying muscle definitely not as big as he was uh previously but almost more like a wiry muscle underlying the skin uh but grabbing Anne, you see that she is like nearly skin on bone um and like grabbing her hand is like her hand is much smaller than yours uh, that's not normal um I'm going to have you, have you, are you, are you hungry? I, I can, let me go check in with Evelyn and see if I can find anyone who might know anything I who can help. I, I, I don't even know what I, I want anymore. I don't, I, I, I'm, my, I don't know if my beast is gone or if he was just so entwined with it that he, he it died when he went, but. I just don't, I don't know what I, I don't have the hunger anymore. Um, I'm, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go, I need to go, I'll go find Evelyn. She, if she doesn't, if she doesn't know anything, she at least knows someone who knows something. So I'll, I'll be right back. All right. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Keep that sense of humor, please. And I, I think immediately run back up in my own tired, uh, ragged you, you body. You catch Evelyn on her way down to uh, the sewers. Uh, I, I, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Yes. Um, I need. Do, do you know anyone who might know anyone who might know any brujas or anyone who might know anything to do with what happened? Because apparently Anna's also just like Jerry, and she's not doing well, and. I, th I think for the first time, Evelyn, you can see Leon looking like he doesn't have a backup plan or a way out of, like, a, a situation. Yeah, full panic. Yes. Okay. Um, I will register this, and I will be like, okay. All right. Um, so, clearly, whoever that was in the dream was connected to both Jerry and okay um yes. she said the hunger was gone it's the hunger is gone yes the, like there's nothing oh. like not she doesn't know what she she wants or needs her well that can't have been her her sire her I'm very confused. I will... Storyteller, would I know any brujas? Like, would I have connections to them at all? Uh, yeah, the former bruja primogen, the sort of pig-faced individual, oh. um, <laughs> is, uh, is currently, like, holding down the fort of brujas at the moment. Okay. Um, do I have a good relationship with 
them uh, as a Nosferatu? They they were one of the more reluctant ones uh, to join the new mm. collective, uh, but they're relatively apathetic to who's in charge at this point. Okay. Um, well, I know they were a bit rough around the edges to begin with, but perhaps if we talk to the Primogen and mention one of their own is in need of finding their center again, I'm hoping finding a little bit of a brujaness will, I don't know, wake the beast up again or something, yeah. or the correct beast, perhaps? Just tell me where to go. I'll, I'll be on it. Um, I, know I will, you have things to I will do. give you the great directions to where, where they are holding down the fort. Um, I will also put some of my team on a task to find out a little bit more information about anything infernal in the neighborhood, perhaps? I don't know. They can't, can't just be two people making a deal with this type of person in this city this big. Yeah. Maybe there's more. Yeah. We'll I'll, figure uh, it out. I think, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I, I think Leon, like, still half not even done talking, just kind of leaves and goes and heads out. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Clearly just on a on a mission in full panic mode. Yeah. Uh the the Bruja last uh seen are south across the river. So uh Leon can go head out in that direction. Mm -hmm. And Evelyn heads off to the sewers. Um your uh your room is still sort of left in the um normal state, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the remnants of the chains that you were uh, tied up when you were um, almost about to frenzy, um, yes. as well as your your sleeping arrangements and these slick grime covered uh, path leading down into the sewers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna specifically look to see if I can find uh, William down there and try to get. Uh, the I'll moment on, you hey, what's been happening and what what if if I can get him to kind of start looking into some stuff. The moment that you get down into the sewers, you see a frantic looking William over the like almost mission board uh, built in the uh, center of your like main headquarters. Uh, mm -hmm. And as he looks up, he says, Mom, oh, where have you been? I've been trying to find you. It's a very long story, and I will tell him the very long story and tell him everything. And as that is happening, I definitely find a seat to sit down because I have no full health at this point. Like, <laughs> I am all superficial and aggravated damage at this point, so I'm not looking good. And I'm assuming I look like, for even for me, I don't look good right now. Yeah. So. Um, I'm he'll like offer you some shaking and very stressed and frazzled and just telling him everything and uh, he'll offer you some scraps from his nest uh mm. the like which now very impressive almost like paper mache uh flesh nest in the corner mm -hmm. um uh but little boy all grown up <laughs> <laughs> uh he will inform you that uh your innate ability to almost project your wants and needs out to your um uh gang was blocked for the last few days uh mm -hmm. so they have been basically scouring the city looking for you um mm -hmm. and it was only recently that um they felt it again um mm -hmm. but basically your entire everyone under williams uh stead is out in the city right now mm -hmm. um we I just, we didn't even think to look at the asylum. There was no movement there. I much I would much prefer you didn't go there. Then more would have been trapped in whatever hellscape we managed to get trapped in. It's much better that it was just us. You were doing good work out here. You did nothing wrong. So it's back to business as usual then. In a way. I have a very important information that I would like you all to gather. I need to know if Sydney is planning anything that could be a danger to the city. 
He's a very old vampire and now has a another consciousness with him. He did I mention he diablerized our client who was also very old? It was a, yeah. a very bad situation. <sighs> so if he is planning anything terrible, I need to know about it because then we're going to need many allies to deal with him. Right. Um, we will watch from afar then, Mom. Yes. Um. And a personal favor for me, well, for Leon, can you send a few people out to see if anyone has had dealings with devils in the city? We have a situation with both Leon's significant other and Jerry. They have been left rather hollow in the wake of a destruction of such a beast within the network. And I'm hoping it's not just them. Seems like the type of... Devils don't just make deals with one or two people. I just want to know if there's any more information we can gather to help them. Right. I will... Uh, I will think who to send on that mission, Mom. I might have to do it myself. Uh, if there's no other new business, I have... Information... Yes. Of course. While you were gone, the uh, uh, spirits of this establishment became unruly, and uh, Miss Octavia's father became startled. Oh. He claimed to have spoken to his deceased wife and sought out for more answers. That's just perfect. Well, Octavia will need to know about this right away. If she hasn't already found out. Um, thank you for that information, yes. William. I... I do appreciate you. Yes, Mom. Now, if it's all right, I haven't eaten in a while. I was yes. too worried. <laughs> you are... Wonderful. Absolutely. No need to worry. I am all right. I just need rest. All right. Um, and as he's almost like rat scurries off into the sewers, mm -hmm. we're going to go on break. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh my and when we come back, we will see what Abigail and Octavia are up to. Sheesh. What Everything the hurts heck? and I'm oh dying. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is terrible. Is so bad. We were gone Real, for five we're consequences. <laughs> oh no. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, OCO friends, it's Casper the NB Ghost, and I am here to talk to you about merch. Since our sweet new rebrand, the Tabletop Titties team has been hard at work updating our merch shop with t shirts and blankets and mugs and hoodies and more that feature our awesome new logo, character art, and references from our show. You can see it all at tabletoptitties.threadless.com where we frequently have great sales. So you'll know you'll be getting a good deal. I've had a hand in designing a lot of our stuff, so our merch is pretty fantastic. If I do say so myself. So check us out at tabletoptitties.threadless.com. That is tabletoptitties.threadless.com. Com. And every time we say titties, you know us with some double days. We love Elderwood Academy's mission to make people happier with their gaming, and we love their customization options for their fantastic products. Elderwood Academy offers gaming themed gear, including spellbook dice trays, dice boxes and towers, and other enchanting RPG supplies. The titties all received amazing hex chests to store our dice. These handcrafted hex chests are made of top grade solid hardwoods and feature magnetic enclosures and a sculpted beehive interior to hold your dice in style. Shop today at elderwoodacademy.com. That's E L D E R W O O D Academy.com. 
folks? It's Sarah here to remind you that you can influence our games by supporting us on patreon.com slash tabletop titties. It's only on Patreon that you can gain access to unique polls that control elements of both our Dungeons and Dragons show as well as our Vampire the Masquerade campaign. What spell scrolls await in a dungeon's treasure chest? Should the guest PC be kind or disgusted by the coterie? You decide. You can also create your own magic items to be featured in the games, and it's the best way to support the show. All of this and more can be found at patreon.com slash tabletop titties. And remember, whenever we say tabletop titties, it's with double D's. Ah. Wow. <laughs> nice <laughs> we are back and real quick before we get going going we just uh want to do a little um read for and we have to do it because it, i believe it's our last one is that right char uh not for this show for, for this, this show, show we got three this one and two more we're getting to number 10 end. yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways without further ado we love elderwood academy's mission to make people happier with their gaming and we love their customization options for their fantastic products. Elderwood Academy offers gaming themed gear, including spellbook dice trays, dice boxes and towers and other enchanting RPG supplies. Thank you so much, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. They are ready. <laughs> the titties all received amazing hex chests to store our dice. These handcrafted hex chests are made of top grade solid hardwoods and feature magnetic closures and a sculpted beehive interior to hold your dice in style. Shop today at elderwoodacademy.com. That's E L D E R W O O D academy.com. Elderwood Academy. Woo! That's almost Disneyland. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much to Paresh M, our Patreon producer. We are so grateful that you support the show, support us, support these titties. We couldn't do it without you. And I wanted to say thank you. And also, another extra thank you to our Raiders of the Night. Yeah. We had, uh, Lost Caravan RPG. And then we also had Critical Misses. Thank you so much, both of you, for raiding. Everyone give them a follow. Woo! Subscribe to their channels. That's a I great can tell name. You, they're both too. incredible channels. I love them both. It's true. Do it. They have the dare seal, seal of approval. Damn. Oh, bam. Ding. Also, it wasn't Disneyland. It was um, everyone loves Love Marine, Marine Land. Land. <laughs> <laughs> if that don't run in my head at least once a day, <laughs> it do. <laughs> <laughs> it do. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Speaking of running in your head, yeah. Let's get running through my head. Running through my head. <laughs> All the things you said, all the things you said, all the things you said. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's Sydney Jones' theme song. Yeah. Um, Yikes. Abigail. Yeah. The uh the roiling uh Ravnos um heat that is building up inside of you uh pushes you on uh through the nights in the streets of London. Um even though you have not been here too long. Uh, you have memorized the route between the IOU and the Marge Barge pretty accurately and being the uh, speedy devil that you are, um, it doesn't take too long before you get there and you hear the sloshing waves of the river as you approach the dock that houses your very own uh, ship and you can see the, not ship, a uh, like sailboat, that's the word. Mm. Uh, and you can see it just sort of... Uh, slowly rocking back and forth on the dock, sort of um, calming the fear that maybe something had happened to it while you were gone. Nice. Uh, Ooh. I love that. It's kind of like that feeling where you're like, you, you, you know, when you forget to pay for parking and you're like, <laughs> oh man, please. And on your walk over, you pray to the parking gods and you're like, please, please, please. I swear that's the last time I'll ever forget. But it won't be. But anyways. Ooh. <laughs> God. Okay, and I'll go, um, yeah, I'll go check out my on my lovely little boat and uh as you approach probably... you see <clears throat> the the uh material that you had put up in the window to prevent the sun coming through you see a mm. slight crack uh and you can see light from inside oh great i'm sure everybody else is having a great time uh <laughs> but anyways i'm going to uh clocking it i'll be like man I didn't give anybody else any keys, so 
with a light little, it looks like my hand's just on my waist, but it's actually gripping my um, pistol in the back. And I'm going to very quietly open the door to my um, quarters. As you do, uh, you immediately hear a shriek um, and movement from inside. Uh, and the slam of the bedroom door being closed on the far end of it. Uh, is it okay? Um, I'll 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 go in, and I will I will have my pistol out. Um, as you approach, you can hear like hurried whispers and um movement from behind the door. People are people slamming on my boat. Are people slamming on my boat? <laughs> um. I, I, yeah, I'm going to just like step, you know, you know how they do in those shows. I'm going to like knock and, and step to the side of the door to the, to the opening, and, but I'll knock and I'll go, who's in there? Uh, I might, I, I might ask the same thing. Who's out there? Well, what? Wait, I asked first. Well, I asked um, from within the confines of my own ship. So you will refer to the captain with um, reverence and answer my question first. No, this is my boat. God bless you. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Wait, is there, how many of you are in there? <clears throat> uh, just me and a... Um, Cola. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll try to open the door. Uh, you do, and you immediate like it opens a crack, and you immediately feel a tug pulling it back closed. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push harder. <laughs> Use your powers. Uh, <laughs> give me a strength and athletics. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I got. It's not the worst. Uh, three successes. Uh, you pull, uh, and it pulls a bit, but you feel a strength, uh, matching yours, pull the door Ooh. back closed. Well, that's very rude to be entering the captain's quarters without first addressing the captain properly. Well, well, maybe if I knew who you was, uh, I'd know who to address. That's not how it works. First, you address the captain. What are, is your name, rank, uh, affiliation, whatever it might be that you want to associate yourself with? This is a tiny boat, dude. Like, <laughs> ah, fine. My name's Abigail Summers. I, Baco lent me this boat, and I, this has been my home for the past a little bit, and I, I, I ain't from here. Uh, but I'm very confused because I thought this is where I was staying and I don't know you and I don't trust you and I'm likely to, you know, do something if you're doing, you know, Americans trespassing. We don't like that stuff. Oh, you, you're a yank then. Wait, you said, what? you said Baco. What, uh, what affiliation do you have with the captain? I thought you was the captain. Uh, of, of a different, entirely different barge. His. Okay. Well, how do you how do you know him? Yeah, well, we're, we're buddies. What do you know? Buddy. Hmm. We're buddies. I, I haven't known Baco to have too many buddies. Yeah, well, probably because you ain't buddies. All right. Well, I will. Leave my quarters if you'll put down the piece. What? What piece? I think you know what I'm talking about. I will return it to the back of my pants but I will keep a hand resting casually on my hip. Still, still suspicious, Silish. then. Silish looking. <laughs> I see that we are kindred spirits in that regard. 
Uh, may maybe. <laughs> oh. What do you? Well, okay. Well, cool. But I still don't understand if how why would Baco let me stay here if this Hells, was your? I'm, boat? I'm going to assume that if I come out of this door and you become shocked, that I will be able to stop you. Um, what? And. He, you slowly see the door open um, and you see a fairly disheveled uh, looking individual. Uh, their hair is sort of like ragged and pulled up uh, into a ponytail. Um, and you see their face is covered in blood uh, and your bed behind them is drenched uh, in crimson. Um, and you see a body that is like slumped and shoved into the corner. Uh, as they sort of look at you and eye you up. Not shocked then. Well, uh, it's a little rude. I mean, you don't have to do it right. Are you going to clean up? Like, my God. I wasn't planning on it. I was told that this ship was unoccupied. By who? Baco. Well, that's just... Mm. Uh, I mean, I've been gone for a couple of days, but still, um, I was under the assumption that uh, this was still my home for a little bit. Um, anyways, your name? Benedict. Mm. Benedict, you got a last name? Not for some time. Ooh. Creepy, but all right. I think you understand. Listen, my apologies for making a mess. Um, I don't normally hunt in this area, but the gentleman who usually handles the docks seems to have disappeared, and the boundaries of our um, feeding has um, weakened a bit. Oh, no. Um, is that guy's name Jerry? Yes, that would be him. Yeah, uh, I know him. He's just um, taken a... Um, he'll be back anytime now. Nothing nothing wrong there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, you should... Why you should make sure that you... Um, you you stay in your areas or whatever Jerry says. Um, I'm going to have to make you roll for this. Oh, <laughs> but I rolled, I lied so well. <laughs> yeah, you did such a good, <laughs> such a good lie. Um, and uh, Dare gets a point because I definitely forgot to open a Vampire the Masquerade character sheet. Uh, give me a um, manipulation Mm -hmm. And uh, da, da, da. persuasion, I guess. All right, not the worst, not the worst for me. Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna reroll one of these because <laughs> I would like to. Okay, three successes. They sort of like eye you up and down. Interesting. So we, we shall be expecting the brute back any time now, then. Correct the mundo. Then I suppose me and my compatriots should vacate the premises any day now. Yeah. Um. But y you're going to clean up first, right? <sighs> I suppose. Are you new here or something? New to the area. I've heard that uh, London has become somewhat of a uh, wild west. Um, I don't, not really, because in the wild west, you have a sheriff and a deputy, and uh, here we got mayors. Yes. As I understand it, the 
Sheriffs are all but gone, then. What? Who said? Well, the Camarilla has all but dissolved. Titles oh. such as Sheriff and Primogen and Whip are no longer applicable. But, um, but I hear that there's a group of people who work at this place that are very cool and, um... <laughs> And in, in they uh, they know stuff and they have friends. So that's like power, whatever that camera, what's it called, it, you said it was? Are you new? What? <laughs> now <laughs> Abigail's going to take a deep non-breath again and remember that she is good at lying. <clears throat> no. <laughs> kind of like eyes you a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Well, then, if uh, these powers that be do indeed uh, control the city, perhaps I shall have a meeting with them when uh, I plan on introducing myself. Cool. In the um, meantime, and they kind of like turns around and just grabs like corners of the sheet and like balls them up. Uh, and then looks at the body and just sort of like grabs the leg and starts dragging it. May I pass? Uh, ooh, uh, and I'll step aside. Uh, and then I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait a, a couple of instances and then go, oh, just a little heads up. But uh, I've been told from some people that uh, if you meet a little pigtail like kindred maybe don't accept any deals from them <clears> hmm <throat> quite a colorful city <clears throat> and you hear a uh as the body is thrown into the uh river as well as a quieter one as the sheets themselves are also thrown into the river and I'm like probably still looking at the the inside of my cabin that's like got a huge blood smear. Like there's yeah, no way. There's a trail clean. of blood as oh. well as a seeped into the mattress uh, blood stain. Well then, I shall leave you to your rest. Ah, thanks. Nice to meet you, Benedict. You as well. Say hello to Baco for me. Uh, and he just starts to wander off uh, away from the ship. I did not like that guy. Um, man, I bet I'm having a worse day than anybody else in our group. <laughs> 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 um, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do a little, I guess I'll do a little bit of tidying before I can consider resting and then even consider moving my boat. <laughs> um, are you going to try to clean up the blood? <laughs> Like, how tired am I? Like, no, honestly, I'll just, I'll probably hope that I can deal with it another day, but I'm definitely going to think about moving this boat. Yeah, you get the impression that um, you may have, you may be on the um, edge of how long you can stay here for and that mm -hmm. uh, you should probably move uh, your boat before resting for the day. Um, so you need to... Um, basically, we're going to go with the rule that you just need to mo move it out of the district. Uh, so you are in the Docklands right now, um, which are far to the east um, of like the city of London and whatnot. And you could actually make your way along the river towards the city of London and be closer to the IOU. Uh, but it would be more out in the public, out in the open while you are resting in the day. Uh, as a lot of like traffic would come by. Mm. Um, beyond that, you could continue west uh, past the uh, downtown um, and start going to like sort of the, the more posh districts on the northern side and then uh, less posh on the southern side. Uh, or you could head east and just like dock it in the bay, basically. Mm, I kind of like... I kind of, I'm like, well, if I go closer to like to the downtown area, then I'll miss my morning jog. 
Um, <laughs> so, and I kind of like doing that. So I think I'm going to try and head, how, how does my boat look? Do you think I could kick it in the posh district or would I get eyes? Um, it wasn't, it's not like a, uh, like a work boat or anything like that. And anybody that has like a personal, uh, yacht of this style is probably a bit more on the off affluent end. It's, it's more the fact that it was towed from, uh, America to here that it hasn't had, a, nobody's cleaned it yet. Um, so it's a bit like worse for wear on the exterior, but overall it's a nice looking boat. Then I'm going to head to the posh district and make a note that I'm going to give it a little, a little bit of elbow grease whilst, or when we arrive. All right. Um, not while we arrive or when, <laughs> like not during, cause obviously I gotta, I gotta drive. <laughs> uh, as you get out and uh, start operating the boat, you see the body just like bobbing in the water, uh, Damn it. kind of like kicking up underneath the docks a bit. Um, and uh, you begin uh, sailing it, uh, or basically, um, what's the word? Anyway, sailing it down the, the mm -hmm. river a bit. The traffic is very limited uh, this late at night. Um, some shadier uh, deliveries being made. Um, but beyond that, uh, it's relatively quiet. Uh, you go underneath... Uh, the large, beautiful bridge um, and Ooh. start making your way uh, towards uh, the St. James area. And there's a bunch of like nice looking um, estates and whatnot. And you can find kind of a posh looking dock uh, to settle at. Um, by the time that you get there, uh, the beast feels like quelled for the, based on not being in the same area but you can mm. feel that sort of like creeping anxiety uh, as the sun sort of threatens to loom over the horizon. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, I'll just, I'll uh, drop anchor and <sighs> close up all them winders. All right. You realize that the light was coming through, like someone, he must have like, slashed it a little bit in his yeah. uh what a jerk. In his feeding what an absolute turd <laughs> i absolutely make a note to pull out my notebook and i draw his name in like the stinkiest font i can two <laughs> thumbs down next to it and i'll make a note of like what he was wearing the things he said the fact that he just like uh real quick a body when you Ooh. go describe to me what your notebook is made of uh leather bound is it enclosed at all? Is it like a zip, a zip leather bound one? I guess, <sighs> I don't know if zippers were invented around that time. I would say probably has like two like leather stringies. It's a bit uh, drenched. Uh, nice. You, no! <laughs> I imagine the quality of the paper is such that you could maybe hang it, but a lot of the ink is stay is like leaked and spreading what if i was uh using graphite <laughs> uh that's true. better or worse to be honest but zippers uh, according to dare zippers were invented in 1917 your name uh, first arrived in 1923 however uh we need there needs to be a luck roll in vampires i rely mm, on it so much so on, true. on call of cthulhu uh just roll. I mean, you could just roll a d10. Roll, yeah, roll me a rouse. <laughs> well, can I do it in Twitch? I can't. Uh, my cat's sitting on my um my keyboard, so I lied to you. That's a success! <laughs> Yay! All right. I will say then that uh, Abigail, being a uh, basically a PI in New York, a also relatively rainy uh, city, would have the foresight to have a waterproof notebook and i will not nice. i will not deprive you of all of your notes wow i'm gonna make a note that i am the coolest person on the planet with a waterproof notebook <laughs> the, the leather the leather exterior is like ruined it's it, mm, it looks yeah. terrible now that's um, fine that's fine but uh yeah after writing that note you then have to um basically go to go to sleep um Ask the f out octavia yeah <laughs> Meanwhile, while this was happening, uh, first things first, I want to go to the library, the library right. in the IOU. Okay, um, is it is anyone moving Jerry 
away from the foyer that uh, usually does get light during the day. Um, Everyone else is gone. Prophet! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Please pro- drag Jake. <laughs> oh my just, god! The prophet grabs a uh, leg, a pant leg, oh and just you hear god. you hear like dunk, dunk, <laughs> dunk, uh, as man. Jerry's body like catches on the edge of a rug, and the rug gets sort of uh, accordion pulled along with him uh, towards the library. <laughs> just flayed. He out. loves being in the library. Right, We're gonna lie now. about this. We're gonna um, be, like Casper's gonna be like, first of all, rude. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You're lucky you didn't burn to death. So true. Uh, leading uh, Jerry's body into the uh, library, uh, Prophet sort of finds like a cozy reading nook and just leaves it there. Uh, half yeah. of the rug has totally been like pulled through the door into the library now. Um, but That's uh, going to cause a tripping hazard for me, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> uh, and you are left uh, in the, the library. Uh, so you said you were going to look into any sort of like devils and or uh infernals or whatever we're calling them yes and as well as any if there is any reference to the sort of affliction that seems to have become of jerry give me a intelligence and a cult uh i believe we're adding two for this library because it is not the Woo! it's not the chantry so you don't get all of the bonuses That's one more than the roll I previously rolled. Huh. All right, pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, two nice. sevens in a row. Um, I believe that Jerry, yes. All right, so Jerry had been researching this in the past. Uh, this is not something that you know. This is something that us as an audience would remember. Mm. Um. But I would be using different books because I'm yes. using my Braille books. And you have a much more, uh, you're coming from the direction of the occult, uh, which Jerry uh, was coming more from like the history standpoint. Um, you, you know, you know for a fact that like losing, um, Losing the power as a va- vampire usually comes from like being diablerized or um, like being in torpor for so long that uh, like a long, long, long time that your body sort of atrophies a little bit or becoming so hungry that um, you like being deprived of blood for that long uh, starts to like diminish your powers. Um, but something to this drastic of an effect is something that you can't really find um even with your vampire books and whatnot um so from that aspect Mm -hmm. you are sure that you don't find anything mentioning immediately losing all your powers in a span of minutes um or a span of days but as for Uh, the is he breathing uh no okay wait yes huh huh do I hear anything else? I, I examine the body. Um, do I hear a heartbeat? You do. Oh my God! How am I by myself right now for this? What the <laughs> fuck? Oh no. <laughs> um, well, I guess I could have left you in the lobby, couldn't I? The uh, just say to myself, <laughs> the demonic aspect that you search, um, question, mm. and this is going to be very leading because the question will answer. The- <gasps> Jerry got access to the Book of Nod. Do you believe that this is something that Octavia has ever? experienced it is a very rare book i don't oh. think so okay. i'm not really uh, searching for that sort of information yeah and it's something that the camarilla especially the the chanchi would probably keep um uh, they believe it's like propaganda basically 
Um, so yeah. I will say that the demonic stuff that you find is more from that's the, 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 sorry, just to be clear, that's the book on like, you learn a bit more about how to not be a vampire anymore, right? No, it's the book learning the legend of Cain and Lilith. And oh yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um, but again, um, I still say I wouldn't yeah. really. Uh, in that case, uh, the demonic aspects that you learn are um, more like religious based and more human interactions. Um, and any kindred interaction with demonic is basically like incompatibility. Like you can't be cursed or possessed by a demon because the beast is inside of you. Um, but with your research, with the seven result, uh, it is a possibility you believe that it, incompat incompatibility is not entirely correct. It's more, um, it's extremely unlikely, but you believe possible that they could be compatible under certain circumstances, um, especially if the beast was voluntarily allowing a demon in. Okay. Sorry, I'm just taking notes. Um, and to be clear, Jerry, I just want to make sure that I know, I remember this correctly, that I'm not privy to what Jerry has been doing in terms of this demonic stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, you were what privy have you to like yourself into Jerry. You were privy to Anne's involvement, mm -hmm. like more privy because you searched into her soul. Mm -hmm. Um, but give me a hmm. one second. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, you give me a wits and awareness. You got it. Um, three. Yeah. <laughs> All the information that I've recently given you is what you believe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Prophet, you should have said something. You're much more used to, you know, sniffing out humans than I am. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I give him ear scritchies. I'm just stressed. And we're back. The, Macal the McAlvians have been taking over again. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Um... All right, where were we? You were learning about demons and devils and whatnot, and then... Yeah, uh, I had especially you... if voluntarily let in. Yeah, and then I had you roll uh, wits and awareness, and as far as you're concerned, uh, everything's above board, and you learned everything that you need to learn. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Question to Evelyn. Uh, oh, oh wait. hi, it's me. Yes, Evelyn. Uh, this the, t the way that the timelines have worked... Uh, Octavia has been researching in the library for a while and you have been re reciting the story to William and this is about mm -hmm. the time that you would have learned about uh, Octavia's father uh, is yes. your inclination to immediately come up and inform her I think it, I, I think I'll definitely go and check in to see if she's maybe already I, I figured she would already be on it but <laughs> Because every single time I try to be like, hey, I have a thing. Octavia's like, I found something. It's this. And I'm like, well, fuck me. Okay. Uh, it's <laughs> but about yeah, this... I'm going to go check in and see how we're doing. It's so... about this time, Octavia, that you hear uh, approaching footsteps uh, at the door of the library. And Evelyn, you see a wrinkled rug pulled into the library, leading to the splayed out body of Cherry in the corner. Uh, and Hello. Octavia with several books open in front of her. How's your evening been? I've had quite an interesting one myself. Jerry's immortal again. What? Heartbeat, breathing, everything. I can't find much about it, but I'm doing my best. Oh, the hunger is gone. Leon mentioned that's what... Yes, okay. But this makes strangely more sense but also no sense at all i'm what a day or 
Well, I may have a bit of a snag to give to you as well. I've found out some news about our lovely guests in this building. Uh, as what do you mean? While we were gone, apparently the spirits of the IOU became very unruly, according to William. They uh, may have given your father a bit of a fright, and apparently he heard something about your mother talking to him and went searching for answers and i don't think we've seen him around since we've returned well i certainly haven't now is not the time for jokes <laughs> I, uh, this is not good but it's strange since he's felt so happy lately that he's almost not given up but it hasn't been his number one priority to look for her I'm, this is very concerning. I don't think, uh, and I like look, or I don't look. I, do you, where's this, how was the sun when you were heading in? Uh, um, you, how, how was it? Did you I, both did I get snag a peek? <laughs> you can both feel the like creeping anxiety coming. It is almost time to rest. Well, blast it. We'll have to deal with this in the following evening. Something... I'm going to stay here for the night, for the day. Are you sure? I mean, I, with what we've been through, I want to arrive at this problem with fresh mind and fresh abilities. Fair enough. I wish you a pleasant rest if you please get some we need to rest Just be careful with everything this is a lot i won't be going anywhere without everyone well perhaps Beautiful. without jerry well perhaps we can send him out on some day errands <laughs> i uh... will I just like pet profit and like try to ease some of my stress uh, in my support animal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'll head to my room. Unfortunately, I'll hand. Uh, oh no, there's no points. It's in, it's in braille. Never mind. All right. I will let you know that the only thing is, it's possible Jerry wanted this to happen. It's extremely unlikely for demonic entities to converse with our kind in this way unless they are voluntarily let in that is true and i would believe jerry to make such a deal i don't know i also don't think he would read the fine print so i don't necessarily think this is what he wanted the end result to be mm. So, hopefully we are able to help him one way or another. Do you have any of those baked goods <laughs> lying around? You usually make them. We might want oh, to leave yes. some around for... Well, it's been a about packet. five days, but... You know, I keep can them in a jar more. or something to keep them... I don't know I'm how... I'm going to feed him stale uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, desserts. he might be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet, go fetch the, the uh, apple turnovers, please. Uh, and as Prophet uh, leaves you and the two of you uh, head towards your quarters, we will cut away to Leon. Uh, as you hurry through the streets of London um, across the bridge heading south, um, there are, you notice a few uh, people now uh, walking possibly waking up early to get to their job um, or night owls, much like yourself, and you start to feel that creeping anxiety um, that the sun may be coming soon. Um, and as you start to hurry a bit more to get across the bridge and find a place to settle down, uh, you notice a slender person coming towards you wearing uh like crushed velvet uh attire 
um, that is lit occasionally by the uh, lights along the bridge, carrying um, a parasol that's sort of like covering and uh, putting a shadow across their face. Um, and in your very hurried uh, moment, um, they bump into your shoulder as you pass, uh, sort of spinning you around a bit. Uh, and they sort of stop facing you, their face still covered in shadow. Um, my apologies. Of course, of course. No, no, no don't worry about it. Uh, have a wonderful day. And I think I, like, try to immediately turn. Wait. Yes? Your face. I recognize it from the paintings. The paintings? Yes. And they sort of begin to move the parasol. And as the light shines on their face, you see a macabre sort of stitching along the f their face and misshapen cheekbones resembling at best a simulacrum of your own face. You're the one father has spoken of. And that's where we're going to end for tonight. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 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 Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today because, damn, did we have a doozy of an episode for you today. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed yourself and you want to show your support, the best way to do so is by heading on over to patreon.com forward slash tabletop titties. Uh, when you become a patron, you get access to so many cool things like our after show. We're going to have a nice little chat about what the <laughs> fuck just happened. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, patrons are going to get to watch that real soon. So you should go and check it out. There will also be polls that affect our games, bonus episodes, all the fun, cool things there. So go and take a look, see, and you'll find something that you love. Just like we love you. Uh, we also have a merch store, uh, so you can cut out over to tabletopthetitties.threadless.com and find all of the things. We have our character arts on t-shirts, we have our logos, you can get more than just t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, cups, pillows, blankets, you name it, it's all there. Go and check it out, it's awesome. Uh, another thing you should do, follow us on socials. Because that is where we can tell you what we're doing and when. So you should follow on all of the things at Tabletop Titties because that's what we are. Uh, and we will tell you when we are doing things and how to see those things. It will be great. And we'll post memes and make you laugh and, and <laughs> like your things when you uh, at us and things like that. It'll be great. Uh, you can also find things on our website because that's all posted yeah. there too at TabletopTitties.com. And remember, when we say titties, it is with double D's. I also make a little, have a safe Halloween, everybody. Yeah. Be responsible. Yeah. Yes, Bye. 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 Bye.